We've climbed some mountains in our time, but never one like this. Apples, very special apples, because this is Somerset, and this is how the cider story starts, with cider apples. To make cider out of apples, they first make them into a cheese, then squeeze the juice out of it at 3,000 pounds of pressure per square inch. Hundreds and thousands of apples go to make the West Country's proudest product. But unlike beer, cider has to ferment for many months in these giant vats. Here at Nailsea, Somerset, they have some of the biggest vats in the world. And they keep a careful watch on the progress of each vintage. And there's a tradition of naming the vats after famous people with strong West Country links. As everyone knows, cider isn't just a West Country drink. This bottling plant works full-time to supply a fast-growing worldwide demand. And connoisseurs, young and old, talk about medium, dry and sweet, and know their vintages as well as any wine taster. And although you wouldn't expect to hear a sing-song in a cider factory, they're naming a new vat today after a pop group with a truly local flavour. Here's to Edge Cutler and the Wurzels, proving that if cider comes up from Somerset, so does the cider sound. Traditional Somerset sound goes to town, but tradition can mean all things to all men. To a sailor...